This is Lake Pleasant, end of October, and uh, Joe Boucher and I are going to fish the lake today and try to catch some kokanee and some adult sockeye for uh, DNA samples. We've been doing best up to far into the lake at the inlet, so we're going to run all the way to the other end of the lake and uh, try up there first. Anyway, so we're going to take off here now. Okay, we're fishing. Had a little issue with the trolling motor this morning, but it's working now. This is what we do. We troll for these fish. Keep an eye on the fish finder. You know when you're going to get bit. When you see fish on the screen, it seems like three quarters of the time you're going to you're going to have a hookup. We're catching a lot more adult sockeye in this lake than kokanee, so it's uh. It's fun. Okay, uh, we try to troll between uh, 1.2 and 1.5 miles per hour, which is why the GPS is important here because you can you can uh, keep the correct speed when you're trolling. You can see the rod tip there working. Um, we're using a small four aught Dodger, lower engine four aught Dodger, about. 14 inches in front of a Dick Knight spoon. Spoon, the smallest Dick, Dick Knight spoon made. 
what they call the wee spoon, a little tiny spoon. We put one kernel of white corn on it, sweet white corn, and oh, two or three feet above the uh, dodger, we put uh, sliding lead, uh, a two ounce weight. And uh, seems to work good. The last Friday, week, or last, last week, we caught uh, 13 sockeye doing this, adult sockeye, and uh, two kokanee. Anyways, that's how we do it. Well, we're not having any action here. We've been fishing about 15 minutes now. Last week, uh, we had a west wind. We had overcast conditions, kind of blustery. Pretty good little wind chop, and uh, boy, the fish were biting good. Uh, this morning, look at this. We've got an east wind, a little bit of an east wind. Bluebird skies, no wind on the lake up here, and that, <laughs> unfortunately, quite often spells tough fishing conditions. So uh, I just had a good bite a while ago, but missed the fish. So uh, we'll keep it up and see what happens. Sockeye on here. Got here. Gotta try to get some DNA samples off these sockeye today. Uh, gotta do it real fast so we don't really stress them out too much. fish it looks like. Put the female sock out here. Not a real big fish. Probably uh, only about two and a half pounds. That's uh, they don't they don't get much smaller than that. <laughs> but that's not our problem. We just need some DNA samples here. We'll let this cow go. that we're using a uh, little uh, the smallest dick knight spoon made with uh, one kernel of corn impaled on the hook a little tiny what they call the wee spoon it's a uh, red and white got about 14 inches a liter there this is the smallest Dodger mates of four aught um, Lord Jensen and then oh, several feet a liter and then a swivel and then our lead which is a sliding lead that's important because the fish if you have a sliding lead then the fish don't have to when they bite they don't feel the lead because your line just slides through this little uh, plastic tube right there so they don't have to pick up the lead in order to order to for you to feel the bite so I think I think that's really important anyways we uh, kind of stumbled up on this by accident this is a standard way they catch kokanee and that's what we were targeting was kokanee but we started catching all these sockeye. They're really taking this well. <clears throat> Last week, uh, the adult sockeye, man, we were catching them like bluegills in a farm pond. I mean, we actually caught 13 and, you know, lost and had numerous other fish on. So it's a real effective method for catching sockeye in the lakes. Looks like a little nail here we got. Sockeye and Lake Pleasant are not really big fish, uh, usually between 17 and 22 inches. This is a small male right here. Put his bigger net. He was really pulling good there. Looks 
like Joe's connected here. Oh, a little bigger fish. That's a nice one. All right. That's right. The lure dropped out in the net. Good. See that fish. Well, that fish is going to be uh, well over 20 inches anyways. Female. Get him a shadow there. Cut through. Got this rubber net so it doesn't hurt the fish to get him, but it's the twist is okay. Nice fish. Look at this guy. That that guy is. And off he goes. We're again. We're at the upper end of Lake Pleasant here, up here close to the outlet, and uh, swing around here and uh, this home right here. That is where the sockeye spawn. Just inside that log boom. That place is is the hot spot for sockeye spawning. You got some open water between the log boom and the shore. They put a lot of gravel in there. And uh, um, there can be hundreds of sockeye spawning just inside that log boom, up against that. That's a rock wall covered with algae right there. Anyways, pretty amazing spot. Oh, I wasn't even recording it, I don't think. Right there. Uh, Dark enough, a little. Finally. Uh, come on, get me. Pretty, pretty fish. 